Uh, let's bring in our friend Carolyn Ryan. We teed up a moment ago uh, how Joe Biden has been boasting about all these folks on the left who are helping him out on social media. It turns uh, out that the Trump campaign is not going to uh, let that go unnoticed or unchecked. Carolyn, good morning. What's going on? Hi, good morning. Yeah, you know, Biden hasn't even formally announced that he's going to run for re-election in 2024. But if and when he does, he is reportedly ready to go with, quote, an army of TikTok influencers to help win over the Gen Z voters. And he is apparently going to do this despite the fact that his own administration has warned that TikTok is a national security threat. Now, one of these uh, supposed influencers is uh, going to be a young man by the name of Harry Sisson, a 20-year-old NYU student. Here is a recent post from Harry's TikTok account where he has, by the way, over 675,000 followers. Listen. Gen Z sees through the lies of the Republican Party, and we see through the lies of Fox News. And we're going to show exactly what we think of you guys at the ballot box in 2024. Well, to that, some conservatives are saying, bring it on. A nonprofit group called Veterans for Trump announced that it's going to be counterattacking with its own army of influencers to target Gen Z voters for President Donald Trump. Now, the group tapped a 15-year-old Kellyanna Brookings from Washington State to help lead this effort. Yes, the left has the cringy TikTok dances and the stupid things that we can all laugh at behind closed doors. But in reality, we need to get on those things and put a Republican twist to that. And I think a huge part of that would be changing the rhetoric about Donald Trump. Because if you look on social media, a huge reason of why Gen Z hates Trump is because of TikTok and stupid three second clips they see without actually looking in depth of what his policies did for America and the economy. So I think using social media is a huge tool and it's so easy to get young people involved. Now, Kellyanna admits that because of these over-the-top left-wing influencers like Dylan, who you're seeing there on your screen, most of the young people in her generation are, she said, brainwashed. She said it's an epidemic of, quote, group think, mostly surrounding the issues of gun control, pronouns, and abortion. And that is why Kellyanna is helping to recruit a network of conservative influencers who have large followings to ensure these young voters have access to the counter narrative. Now, Kellyanna does not personally use TikTok. She is most active on Instagram, but she says as long as the app does not get banned and the left continues to use it effectively to target Gen Z, well, then by all means, conservatives need to do the same. And the goal, of course, is to reach as many Gen Z voters as possible and really flood the internet with pro-Trump messaging between now and 2024, guys. All right. Yeah, you know, you almost don't want to get in the game if you don't like how they're playing, but we're at the point now where the left is playing and we got to get in. Yeah, so got to get Trump, in the game. Trump, Way to do it. Yeah. yeah, President Trump trying to do the same on ballot harvesting and the rest mm-hmm. of it. Yeah, uh, exactly. Got to be on the field and fighting back.